Okay, welcome back. This is part two of the Collagraph portrait. Here I'm going to show you a variety of objects that you can use to create textures in Collagraphs. You can use any material. You can use recycled material like leaves, twigs, um, crisp packets that have been washed, uh, scrumpled up paper, tissue paper. Here I have some non-slip material. I have the netting. This is just an off-cut that I bought for, um, I think it was a couple of quid for a big bag of, of the off-cuts from Dunelm. Other materials that I have here I have some shredded paper, I have some wood shavings, and I have some material from a pine tree. also use sand or rice, any materials. I was trying to find, I had a bag of volcanic rock, very very tiny, it looked a bit like sand. I'll have to use that another day. Um, I also have a piece of sandpaper that will create particular marks. But what I'm going to do with this collagraph, I'm going to add a variety of textures to the background just to give it a sense of difference between the figure and the background. And I will also use some texture for the clothing to separate Lucian Freud's suit jacket uh, separate from his face, head and neck. The material I'm going to use for the background, I will use the wood shavings. The first step is to add glue to the background. Now I'm being aware of the outline that I can still see. shavings here and all I'm going to do is just sprinkle on the surface. I'm going to try and get the smallest pieces possible. combination of wood shavings and sawdust. It's much like the way you would place glue upon a drawing and shake out some glitter. 
you can just load it all onto the surface. Now here I'm being very careful because I'm aware this is Lucian's ear, so I don't want to go right up to the black areas. I just want to find the outline. So, and the same over here with the jacket up to the edge of the black felt pen. happy with that and I'll just gently tap it that's by then I'm really just removing the loose pieces and then I can just sweep that away PVA. I'm just going to now just go over the top. This will allow me to reinforce the sawdust that's there, but also at the same time give me an opportunity to remove pieces that are too large and that I wish to to take away. Wipe away bits. 